Why should we save cord blood stem cells? Let's start by learning the basics. What do all of these people have in common? Cord blood. Cord blood has given them a second chance at life. Cord blood is the blood left in the umbilical cord and placenta following the birth of a child. It is rich in life-saving stem cells. If collected shortly after the birth of a child, cord blood can be stored and then used for a patient in need of a stem cell transplant. Collecting cord blood does not harm the mother or child, and there are no ethical issues in collecting cord blood. Once cord blood is collected, it can be sent to a cord blood bank where it is inspected and prepared for storage. After an initial processing at the bank lab, the blood is frozen in sophisticated cryogenic freezers. To date, there have been more than 40,000 cord blood transplants worldwide. Currently, cord blood is used to treat over 80 life-threatening diseases, including sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, leukemia, lymphoma, and many more. There are numerous landmark clinical trials also underway using cord blood around the world. This research is looking at the potential use of cord blood in the treatment of autism, stroke, spinal cord injury, diabetes, HIV, and more. As a parent, you may be wondering, should I donate cord blood or privately bank it in a family bank? Honestly, there is not one right answer. Your family's medical history and personal preferences will play a major role in this decision process. You may also discover that your particular hospital does not offer cord blood donations or support family banking. Sadly, cord blood is still not collected in the majority of births worldwide. Education and building awareness are both key to changing this. Did you know that donation is free? And it is a generous act of kindness. Depending on the program, donated cord blood could save a life as it's used for transplants to treat one of over 80 life-threatening diseases. This is the main purpose of donated cord blood, to provide stem cell transplants to those who are looking for a match. In addition, some donated cord blood may be used for important medical research, which will ultimately lead to saving more lives in the future. By definition, private or family cord blood banking means that only you and your family will have access to your child's cord blood. For those eager to save cord blood, family banking is often more widely available to parents than public donation programs. However, it should never be considered as an insurance policy. That said, there are many good reasons to store it privately. For example, a sibling or family member could benefit from a cord blood transplant. If your child is a match, you could help provide that. Perhaps your unborn child has been diagnosed with an injury or illness during pregnancy, and cord blood could possibly be used as a treatment. Another reason may depend on your family medical history, which would suggest that there may be a need for your child's cord blood in the future. If you do choose to privately bank, please make sure that your bank is properly licensed and accredited in your region. To avoid disappointment, it is important that international protocols and standards are met by your cord blood bank in order for the cord blood to later be used in a transplant or perhaps a clinical trial. At Save the Cord Foundation, we meet parents every day who are eager to either donate their baby's cord blood or store it via family banking. Some have found the process frustrating and at times futile because unfortunately not every hospital offers assistance with public and or private cord blood banking. This could be due to many factors. Possibly it's a simple lack of awareness or poor logistics. Sometimes it's poor policy making and often staffing issues. Luckily, things are changing, but it will take time. Advancing cord blood education is key. 
To improve your understanding of how cord blood is collected and used, we recommend the following groups. Parents and healthcare professionals will find general resources as well as industry-specific information at Save the Cord Foundation and the Cord Blood Association. Go to NMDP Be the Match to learn how donated cord blood becomes part of the National Registry for stem cells and is used alongside bone marrow for patients in need. To learn more about the various accreditation processes for public and private banks, please visit FACT, WMDA, or AABB. Also, check with the relevant health authorities in your area to learn what is required. To learn how logistics plays a crucial role in life-saving cord blood transplants, please visit Quick Healthcare Logistics. Thank you for listening and learning today about cord blood. We'd like to give a special thank you now to our friends at the Carolinas Cord Blood Bank, a nonprofit public bank, for generously providing video footage of their facility used in this educational video. Remember, even just one conversation could save a life. Thank you for listening. <laughs>